Social credit scores will determine your sustainability to live in society. Remember, these are all precursors coming uh, to set up for whatever ends up being the mark of the beast. So people get locked out of the system. You can't buy and sell. And this is basically the behavioral modification. If you remember Obama, right before he left, he was talking about people won't ever see it coming. And he was hinting about behavioral modification because all these Masons are in cahoots with one another. And the Masons in America and the Masons within the Vatican the Masons and Kabbalists within Israel and the communists in China, all the technology, all of it goes together. And this fourth beast kingdom that Daniel tried to warn us about that has been extremely poorly misunderstood. People should start understanding that when you see that beast being revealed in Daniel and Revelation, it's talking about this very kingdom, this 1984 AI enhanced super surveillance punishment system and this credit score goes along with it to trap you up to control you and to put you in a system of slavery so let's let's hear about it that I read that big tech social media has said hey social credit scores they don't exist here that's strictly a Chinese phenomenon well, all of a sudden, now that they serve a real purpose that fits the left-wing agenda, they're here. And right. I guess all those rumors about Silicon Valley going through with big tech development for the United States were true after all, after the mainstream media made fun of them. But this has taken a very, very serious twist, and my broadcast partner, Paul Martin, actually clued me in as to what this was all about on this morning's show. My name is Dave Hodges. I'm the host of The Common Sense Show. We are the show that is for you. I will spare you this commercial. Now, if you've been living in a cave somewhere or just been on vacation and you were camping in the wilderness for a month and you've not heard us talk about social credit, what it basically is, it's a score that's given to you by the, and you have deductions by the number of inappropriate uh, hate, quote unquote, filled postings and sites that you visit you may go to the xyz site and you have no idea it's a bad site and you open it up and it's a white supremacist site and you go oh this is terrible and you click it off it's already impacted what would be your social credit score through no fault of your own and then they also have a system where they apply points to your privileges and if you violate the point system in other words you accumulate enough demerits then what ends up happening is you lose your ability to go on social media. You lose your ability to hold a job. This is China. You lose your ability to use public transportation. We already have a form of that with the no-fly list. You lose your ability to have housing. I mean, you're being deplatformed as a person with social credit. They aren't messing around. They are going to make non-citizens out of people who want to stand up for their citizenship, whether it's defending the Constitution, calling out corrupt politicians, they're going to say, oh, that's hate speech. So when I talk about Lindsey Graham's ridiculous assertion that violates every premise of conservatism, and he says, well, yeah, we, we need to take down offensive websites. Offensive to who, Lindsey? You see, it's opinion. It's not a matter of it, it's anything else. You know, my wife said this. She said, why don't you just call yourself an editorialist, which I am, but I also report news, and then I kind of give the views with my news. And I said, it wouldn't matter. I could say everything is editorial, and they'd still come after me. And they're still coming after everyone who's not drinking from the Kool-Aid that's accepting the leftist agenda. And right. You see, in a business model, what they've done is they've employed what we call vertical integration to control the key points of power in a society and they're doing it and sustaining it with smaller numerical numbers and they're being damned effective they, they truly are so social credit being used to determine whether or not you're gonna buy a gun uh oh did I get your attention on that uh, let me explain something to you when I went to college beyond my graduate degree 
And I had to learn how to be a therapist. I had to pass my coursework. I had to do practicums. I had to do community service and so many hours of observation. I had to learn how to do intake at various facilities. Then I had my practicum. I had my internship. I had supervised practice. And then they said, okay, now that you've passed your boards and done all this other stuff, we think you're qualified to diagnose and to treat. And by the way, you've got to increase your professional knowledge by so many classroom hours every so many years. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Google? Facebook? Twitter? Uh, where did you get your degree from and where did you pass your mental health boards to make psychological evaluations on people based on what you're doing? Uh, nowhere, you say? I see. This is just like political schizophrenia. What's that? Well, I've been around long enough to remember the 1970s, and I remember hearing some of my teachers and later some of my undergraduate professors talk about this. And they said, in Russia, they said, if you disagree with the government, you've got to be crazy. And they'd put you away in a mental institution, really a gulag, for your own protection and the protection of others. <laughs> Is this sounding familiar now? For your own protection and the protection of others? That's the key phrase in red flag laws. Now, how did the rest of the world respond to this? It's a bastardization of the mental health process. It's an abuse of power by the Russian government as they're usurping legitimate mental health controls. You get the idea. The world came down on them. ICD-9, which is the international organization that categorizes mental illnesses, decertified the Russian mental health system. The World Health Organization from the UN, yes, believe it or not, they called them out. And now, here it is, 2019, and we're embracing this heinous practice. Are you pissed yet? You should be. Because they could say, you're crazy. And let me share this with you. It's a half a step away from saying you're too mentally ill to have a gun to you're too mentally ill to remain free. Do you understand where I'm taking this? Or to this live. is 50% of the way to mass roundups. Why would I say such a thing? Dave, that's outrageous. I don't know. Isn't that what they did in Germany? Isn't this what they did in Russia? Isn't this what they did in China? Why would it be any different here? People are people are people. I've given you a lot to consider. I, God, I never thought I would live and then subsequently die in communist China. But that's exactly what we have here. This is actually more closely related to the Sovietization of the United States. That's it for the Common Sense Show. Thank you so much for joining us. Please share this on your social media far and wide. Okay, so anyhow, um, basically, you, you have to understand, and we've done shows talking about this as well, or whatever you want to call them, videos or whatever, where they have discussed, nice to see new subscribers too, by the way, thank you. They have discussed the consolidation of power this would be a really good video to check out the danger ahead techie sons of God versus the sons of God in Christ and also ex uh, accelerating global holy war depopulation danger ahead USA's NSA hush security posters all of these things are with a spiritual goal in mind to control you. There's a lot of things that are going on, and I just invite you to take a tour of the channel because there's a lot of information in here, and they are bound and determined to take control of what you worship, what you're allowed to say, what you're allowed to think, what you're allowed to articulate. This is how they're going to use their powers to subdue and subvert the Bible. These days are coming. Babylonian AI game is afoot, spying, lying, and Camp FEMA resorts. You, you, you've got to check this out and understand the level of where these people are going with their dictator 
and their control over the masses. It, it is really important to understand this stuff. And I, I know that some people are just so afraid they don't even want to deal with the truth. They will just simply run away and go, that can't possibly be the truth. I can't deal with that. And they'll run off. And you can do that. You can. But um, concerning the fact that our job as ambassadors of Jesus Christ is to warn the masses of what's going on and then to assist people directing them to get into the ark of salvation. Like I talk about all the time through the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the son of God these days to be able to do that are becoming increasingly more important as if they weren't always important, but the, they, your ability to be able to do that in a free society is coming under attack. And so we have a lot of videos, dear ones, um, expressing and showing and showing this, uh, this assault that is coming, this theocratic Messiah world ruler, and they are communicating about it on a continual basis. Now, if you've been with me for a while and you're already familiar with a lot of this, I'm just trying to show you the newest things on the horizon. I'm showing you the futuristic unfolding of the biblical worldview for revelation and this desire for them to have a transhumanism 2.0 link up with AI. I'm showing you that Palantir and uh, all of these other types of tools have been weaponized to spy on you and to draw you to the end of yourself so that these people that say that they are gods now with the algorithms can rule over you. And I know it's scary and I'm sorry that it's scary, but I'd much rather live in the truth no matter how scary it is and know that I did everything that I could to help people rather than just duck and cover and, and pretend like it's not happening. Uh, you have Edadel, you have an entire conglomerate of entities that are seeking to trap you up and they're going to, and that's why it's so important to be in Jesus Christ. Cause these are not nice people. Okay. These are definitely not nice people and they have plans for you. And I love you in Jesus Christ. I want the best for you. I want freedom for you. I want goodness and power and strength for you. They are organizing failure crop on all seven continents. And they are playing with your money. They are doing all kinds of things. And I, I honestly don't know how much longer that we have. This, I really abhor the teaching from Jack Hibbs of Calvary Chapel, which I... When I got saved, I was in Calvary Chapel. Those are my people. Got married, met my husband in a Calvary Chapel. So for him to say that we're still 50 more years out, I think is just absolute lunacy, especially when you look at how they are bringing this pre-thought crimes, big brother AI to end your free speech, to label Christians and anti-abortionist people that don't think it's not, it's, it's not nice to kill babies. Okay. It's just not nice. And they want to label Christians and people who read the Bible, Jesus lovers and um, anti-abortion conservatives and so on and so forth as monsters or as bad people or label us with whatever ridiculousness. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter what they label you with. If you're in Jesus Christ, he is your salvation. He is your hope and your glory and your power. Now, um, I I do think that Dave is one of them. <laughs> I honestly do. He has a whole ton of videos that over at the Common Sense Show, and you might just want to go look over them because he is at least reporting some things that are true. He just always wants to engage in that left-right paradigm, uh, which really annoys me to death because it's not it's not the left against the right. It's not one nation against another nation. It's actually the Masons and these really wealthy people that are against you, the poor, so to speak. So he has other videos too. A social credit system is monitoring students' social behavior uh, and home home time. Boy, they you need to know about that stuff. Much more can be said. This is such a setup. But this this goes to tell you how wonderful it is that God's word was able to tell you about this a long time ago so that you could prepare so that you could understand 
that the Bible is true, that Jesus is true, that they were able to accurately give you prophecy that now it's starting to make sense because it's unfolding. It's that book is open. Like Daniel talked about at the time of the end, that book would open. It would make sense. So, you know, there's a lot of things going on, but at the end of the day, when you have Jesus, it really doesn't matter. And we need to be inviting other people to be saved through the gospel of first Corinthians 15, one through four. Thank you so much.